Hi everybody, it's Miss Jessica from the Tech at Lowell Branch Library here to share another STEM activity with you today. Our experiment today is going to teach us a little bit about the physics of potential and kinetic energy. All you need for this experiment is some jumbo craft sticks. Colorful ones are going to be helpful in this experiment. A hot glue gun and a parent's help. To start for this experiment, you're going to take three of your craft sticks and lay them parallel about two centimeters apart and also about two centimeters staggered from each other so it looks just like this. Then take another craft stick and lay it down so it's touching all three of your craft sticks just like that and then take a second craft stick and lay it right next to that one so both of those are touching all three of your craft sticks. Now you're going to want your parents help and that hot glue gun because you're going to pick up these two craft sticks right here and you're going to put some small dots of glue on each of these three craft sticks. Make sure they're nice and straight the way they were and lay back down your craft stick just like that. You might want to hold it a second so you know it stays. And then take three more dots of hot glue, just like that. Lay that second craft stick back down. Again, hold it just a second so you know it stays in place. And it should look just like that. Now we want to number our craft sticks, starting with the one that is sticking out as number one. So this one's going to be number one, this one's number two, and this one is number three. And this is going to serve as our starting piece for a craft stick chain. Now that we have our starting piece, we're going to take another craft stick. We're going to weave it under stick one, over stick two, and under stick three, so that we have a little bit of it sticking out from stick three, just like that. And then we'll take another craft stick after that and we're going to weave it under stick two and over stick one again so a little bit of it is sticking out over stick three just like that. If you look at these two craft sticks now you'll notice that these ends right here are sticking out a good bit from everything else. This is what you're going to be looking for as you continue to build your chain because our next stick is going to go right here under the shorter and over the longer. This is where our color craft sticks are also going to come in handy because you can make a pattern with the colors as you're building. So my pattern is going to be to add a red one, then blue, then orange, then purple. This will help me also to know that a red one will always go under a purple and over a blue. And then for also, for example, a blue one is always going to go under a red and over an orange and so on. As you're building your chain, you might feel like you need to bend the craft sticks a little bit to get them where they need to go. And it might feel a little bit difficult, but it shouldn't be too hard for you. You're also gonna notice that you're going to feel that you need to hold them down. And this is where help is going to come in handy again. So go ahead and grab your parent again or a friend and they can help you hold it down as you build the chain. I need some help myself, so I'm gonna go grab Miss Hannah and have her help me as we finish building the chain. Remembering our pattern and looking for those sticks that are sticking out, we can continue to build this chain as long as we want. It does work best with help, like I said before, and if you build it on a hard surface. So we are going to try to make our chain as long as this table that we are building it on. So we have our chain all built. Eventually, Miss Hannah is going to release the hold and we're going to see what happens. What do you think might happen when she lets go of the end of our craft stick chain? Think about it for a minute. All right, and I'm gonna count Miss Hannah down and we're gonna see what happens. Ready, one, two, and three. Wow, they went flying. So why did the craft sticks go flying when we released to the end? Let's go back to those types of energy that I talked about earlier, potential energy and kinetic energy. 
Potential energy is energy that is being stored up and not used and is typically created by the positioning of an item. So like when you take a rubber band and you stretch it out, you can feel the tension of that rubber band wanting to snap back into its original form. That is potential energy. Kinetic energy is the energy that is used in motion. So if the rubber band does snap back to its original shape, the movement of that rubber band snapping back to the original shape is kinetic energy. Remember how when you were building the chain, you had to bend the craft sticks a little bit and it was a little bit difficult to get them into place? Well, what you were doing was adding potential energy into your chain. When you finished your chain and you let go of the end, all of that potential energy that had built up was released and set the chain into motion with kinetic energy in a spectacular way. So the potential energy of each craft stick was released and turned into that kinetic energy in a chain reaction and caused them to go flying everywhere. If you would like to learn more about potential and kinetic energy, be sure to check the link in the description down below to the Science Buddies page for this experiment. Thank you for joining me today, guys. I'll see you next time.